And he kept talk, talking about how great this stuff was. And, and I'll be honest with you, there was a skepticism. Oh, it's just kind of hard to believe that this stuff would do that. If I, okay, we'll set something up, you can, and see and believe it. We gave you the part that you could program it, mm -hmm. if I remember yeah. right. And uh, we brought it in, and uh, uh, Phil was the one that was running the machine. We set it up, and like I said, the first thing that we noticed is when the, the, the end mill came around, and instead of going from the top, it started running down like this. And me that came over the side dropped all the way down the side of the thing, and then it just started sweeping in like a big scoop. And it sounded like, like, as I told you before, it sounded like a machine gun, all the chips flying off that thing. It was an unbelievable, and, it, and people literally did jump back from the machine because they were not only just the chips flying, but they were certainly considered really considering about their end mill breaking, fracturing break because of side pressure. Because they said that nobody uses the side of an end mill to cut. What are you trying to pull here? But it does, it works. It is a, very impressive. And I think it's that, uh, because it is so hard to believe, but when you first, uh, someone comes and explains it to you what you want to do, and the first thing is conventional milling doesn't do that. That's not how you conventionally mill. It just doesn't work like that. But if you give it a chance, pretty cool product. I think you can really do some cool things with it. I guess the, your, your own limitations is you as far as what you want to do with it. Or what was the materials that you're cutting? It was P20 and uh, 4140. That's pretty much what we cut here all the time. And, oh, and the other thing that we did notice when, the, when we were done machining uh, is the fact that we looked at the end mill and the end mill didn't even have shiny spots on it. It was like it was brand new yet. How would you describe your machines? Do you have all brand new machines or do you have seasoned machines? We have seasoned machines and that's what we did that test on. Mm -hmm. It was a seasoned machine. It was not a new machine. Now we do have machines. Uh, well, we've got some out here right now. It's just maybe two years old. And we run it on, here, on there too. Yeah. As far as the, as the machine goes, I think it's really that you have to have a fantastic machine to run that stuff. I think it's just that you got to be able to program it, and there are parameters you have to keep. But uh, I think you can run it on about anything if you want to. We use it on a variety of our machines out here. Uh, we do, do these wedge plates, and they're done on the Akumas and the uh, YCM, and that's one of our, that's our newest machine. Mm -hmm. So there's machines set right beside each other that use the same programs. Right. Basically, most of what we've noticed is just our our general time. You know, that thing took an hour and a half to do before. Mm -hmm. Now it's taking 35 minutes. Yeah. But it certainly is. It's a jaw dropper when you, yeah. you see what it'll do. Yeah, like I said, when we were standing around that mill that first time, yeah, it was it was kind of funny to see her. And I'll be I'll be admit uh, first to admit I jumped too. Mm -hmm. We all you kind of jump back a little bit. It is it's kind of frightening at first to see something do something like that. Mm -hmm. It's just so it, it, to conventional machining. When you think about conventional machining and the way this goes about it, there's nothing conventional about it. They're called end mills, they're not called side mills. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to be supposed to be on the end of them, <laughs> not on the sides of them. Yeah. It, but it works. I mean, it, it, if you just give it the opportunity. With all the skepticism and all the, oh God, that won't work, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But it does. Yeah. Just getting someone to be open-minded enough to try it. But here again, I think you're only limited by yourself yeah. how much you're willing to try it. Yeah. Now, to get these um, accelerated cycle times, are you using any kind of exotic tooling or are you using off-the-shelf tools? Off-the-shelf tools. Okay, so, so no, no changing in tooling, work holding, tool holding? Yeah. So everything's existing, you didn't have to Every, yeah, purchase everything was, anything new? Nope. Volume you know, that was it. <laughs>